Well, firstly, I'm not a granny. Um, <laughs> and quite a few of us aren't, and quite a few of us are men. Um, <laughs> but I, me, I'm, I'm, I'm a mum, um, I'm a wife. Um, I brought up my children in, 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 um, in Hackney, where I've lived most of my adult life. Um, and I like to get very involved in the community wherever I am, be it a little short time or a long time. Um, I've retired, I was a primary school teacher, and I got quite sort of disillusioned <laughs> really about being in the classroom and the creativity sort of being harder and harder to, to use. Um, so I got out of the classroom and I specialised in teaching children with uh, reading problems. Mm. So the people who have found it hard to learn to read. Uh, since I've retired, I have had an absolute ball. I've just been so happy because I've been able to volunteer for projects that have interested me. So I do guerrilla gardening, I was in the Paralympics, um, um, London Wildlife, and I'm helping put out um, um, an exhibition together at the Hackney Museum about communities. Amazing. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you first got involved in the School in the Cloud project with Sugata. Well, I read one of the, um, the call-outs from Sagata um, in The Guardian, um, and it just grabbed my attention, because all the things I missed about being with kids in school, story time and chatting and singing silly songs and so on, that it just appealed to me. So very unusually for me, I, um, I responded and I emailed, and so eventually I... Had my very, f I'm just terrified of Skype. <laughs> um, I had my first Skype session, and that was with Sunita Kukani, whose balcony that was, um, that, that talk was on, um, and um, in, in Pune. And we just clicked and hit it off. So not only have I made, you know, had a good time using the project, I've also made a friend. Um, and, w and tell me what you've, since you've gotten involved and kind of sent that first initial email, mm -hmm. what have you been mainly doing with the project? Um, well, I, to begin with, I did, I did do sessions, but I did find Skyping um, very difficult with groups of children. I like um, you know, uh, uh, eye contact and, and all that sort of stuff, and I found it quite hard. But I enjoyed one-to-one, -one, so I've been for four years mentoring a young man who is now going through um, training to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. He was in a slum in Hyderabad, and there's a teacher, um, a lady from the village in Varanasi who I've been talking to and just we chat in English, and it's to build her confidence so she can sing songs and talk to children and teach them in, in the learning center, which is one of the places we, we Skype to. Amazing. Oh, there's very nice Yeah, thing. so I was actually <laughs> gonna say, um, some, for some reason, without me testing it, our, our presentation of just these photos, because you just came back from India, didn't I you? have, yeah. And so actually, I'm gonna, for everyone else, if I can, maybe not, but anyway, you saw some of the photos and you'll still see some more that are from, um, from, from your trip to India. So do you wanna tell me a little bit about the trip? No, I just want to look at the photo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's yeah. not the answer um, we agreed on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was brilliant. I went for five weeks, um, and I spent a lot of time with Sunita travelling. Um, well, sort of following her job really, because she she manages these uh, the, the granny interaction um, in in souls and sums across India and we just travel for miles with a bit of, of, well, quite a lot of sightseeing, but it's, oh, we're going to Rajasthan, fantastic. Oh, and there's a, a hole in the wall and we did an interview and so on. So it was, it was a mixture of, of both. Mm. And um, in terms of the trip, I mean, obviously you said you went, you, you saw this beautiful country, but you also visited all these different sites, uh -huh. that hole in the walls, some of the construction sites, mm -hmm. some of the classrooms, different types of things. What stood out for you the most in, t um, in terms of your trip? Well, there was so much. Um, watch um, Souls. Um, I watched Sunita do a run a soul. That was that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Um, sorry, I'm sort of gone, yeah. gone a little bit lost. No, no, it's <laughs> fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh, well, the, the the things that stood out. Ah, oh, the Sundarbans. This is yes. one. This is one of the places where. Um, there's, there's a soul being built. This is the remote one in the, in the, in the Ganges Delta. And so we went by boat to it and then on this 
flatbeds of motorised truck along a, a brick road for miles and miles. And this is the school. They said, this is the school and, um, that's there at the moment. And I said, well, I'd like to go in, into the school and just sit and see what it feels like to be a teacher in this school. And so I went into this hut, which is about the size of two garages. And there was just a dirt floor and a table and a chair. I said, how many children come to this school? 90. 90 children in that little hut, sitting on the floor. I said, how on and I said, well, no wonder they, they teach by rote, because there's so much rote learning. Um, so I said, well, no wonder they, they teach, that, that's the only way you could do it. He said, no, no, there are eight teachers with little groups in that school, all learning, all separately, all learning by rote and so on. Um, that affected me tremendously. Mm -hmm. I, that, that was just incredible. And it, there was, that's just how it was. They got on with it. That was, mm -hmm. that was amazing. Um, the slums, um, I was so all prepared. I was going to be very stoic about going into the slums because we've got quite a few centres there. So I was going to paste my, my teacher's smile on. It was all going to be very jolly. And it was just wonderful because, um, I mean, I did go to, to sort of not the, not the very, very deeply poverty-stricken areas, just on the outskirts of the slums, it was, the conditions were better. But it was just this lovely, vibrant, uh, his, these kids, are one, this is one of them that I went to, they were just lovely. And you walk through the streets, and they, they were, it was very village-like. The people were out on the street, they were very welcoming, very friendly. The kids were wonderful, so enthusiastic. I loved that, really did. But what, so I suppose what really hit me most of all was the scale of it. Because you look at the map, and oh, this is a map of India, and it's very big. I travelled for miles and miles and miles just to go from you know, one centre to another centre or from Sunita's home to a centre. We just, like, ten hours at a time we travelled. You know? It was just yeah. vast, yeah. vast. And so, I mean, we've been speaking about this for a while, which has been really interesting, and we've you know, kind of had these questions that have come up. And, and so, so Liz and I got to meet a couple of times before she went away, and we had these questions that we had about project and how it worked and all this kind of stuff. And then when you came back, it was one of the first things was, what did it help you answer, seeing it firsthand? So what kind of questions did you have going into your visit that, that it helped answer? Well, watching from, from the other end was just amazing, seeing how, how thirsty for this interaction with, with the, the Granny on the other side, there was. They were, they were just amazing. Um, in Ramasharodi, they came after school to this little tiny outhouse on the side of a, of a house. There was hardly any light in the room, and they were just almost getting into the screen. <laughs> they, I, and Sunita tells me that sometimes, to begin with, when they first, first did this, um, some of the children were stroking the screen to stroke the granny's face. You know, it was just, that was just so moving. <laughs> it really was. Um, and I went to, not this one, but one, one of the other ones. That, um, there's, it's like a standalone soul. So the children don't have any interaction with anybody who speaks English. They have, um, they come three nights a week to, a back room of a little shop, and there's a lady there who just minds them. And Sunita said the biggest, um, um, the biggest achievement really was that they didn't hit each other while they were interacting because it's quite. A, I mean, they were lovely kids, and it was all. There's a lot of violence in the slums, um, so they hardly had any English when they started, and they just had, they had access to the computer. There were two computers, and they had free access to them. And these were the kids that were desperate to, to talk to me and try out their English. They were looking at the programs, oh, cricket, bat, oh, let's find the cricket bat on the screen. They were just soaking it up. Mm. It was just wonderful, because they weren't a lot like me. I'm quite scared of computers. They weren't scared of them, but they were just, let, let me at it, let me at it. They were just mm. wonderful. And so it really think, you really think from seeing all of this, it, like it works, like this process, that was oh. one of the questions we discussed, right? Like this kind of question, does it work? It's is this something? so, 
so works. It really does, because you tap into their curiosity. Yeah. And I, I went out of my way to talk to children, you know, that I saw in the streets and, you know, school parties and so on. And they'd be very keen to say hello, and then you say, oh, hello, how are you? And, oh, what do we say next? We don't know what to say next. There was none of that with these children. They were just, oh, look, English person, let's practice, let's try it out. Let's count her beads and stroke <laughs> her hair, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, in terms of the project and your involvement, in that project. Mm -hmm. How do you think that your trip and seeing this firsthand has impacted your commitment? Oh, tremendously. Um, just, I mean, I just believe in it so much more. Um, you know, it's, it's not going to solve everybody's problems and it's going to take a huge amount of time, but it's just so, so wonderful. So what I want to do is, um, I would try and be very brave with the internet and start a fundraising website because, for some instance, in Ramesh Wadi, they just needed a solar lamp. That would have made such a huge difference. Some of the children, um, the parents are a little bit reluctant for them to come. So, you know, 50 rupees, that's 50 pence a month, that's all it, they, we, there's a, sort of a minimal charge to come to cover expenses. So a little scholarship of 50 pence a month will allow a child to come and, um, and be part of it. So I'm going to fundraise. And I'm just going to try and spread the word. And I have to tell you that at lunchtime, <laughs> I got chatting to, to somebody. And she has my email address. And I think I've recruited her. So, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> um, in the <laughs> Job done. <laughs> In that vein, actually, uh, Liz and I were talking about how I'm sure somewhere in the audience, maybe there's one person who's good with technology in an audience from TED, maybe. And um, that there might be someone interested in helping you put together this fundraising site. So Fantastic. if there is, you can find Liz all day. Um, so I guess the last question I have for you um, after all of this is, is what do you think could make or break this project? Kind of on a large scale. I think the souls... There's a trailer to a film that's being made uh, about Sagata, and in it he says that his biggest job is to... because the, they've, they're to, the people in this, this village, this remote village, think he is building a school. He's not. They expect a school. The, ch the parents of the children, where, where we set up a, a little centre, expect a school. Mm. And a school means you sit, you chant, you, you learn by rote, you go home and you gabble off your numbers, one to a hundred, or you, your ABC. So that's, that's and the teachers as well, yeah. they have to in some way be made to understand that learning happens, you know, I saw a lot of teaching, you know, yeah. <laughs> not so much learning in some places. Um, but learning happens, it doesn't have to be awful, it can be fun and interactive that's that's it's that publicity um, PR job that has to be done really okay wonderful thank you so much You're for taking time and updating everyone on the project thank you